Greetings. We have uh, yet another interesting community post from our beloved friend over at the We Woke Now channel. You see, the good doctor showed this picture of Catholic clergy with a sign that reads, quote, Jesus did not choose non-white apostles, end quote. And then here's the good doctor's own caption, which he put together with that photo. It reads, quote, yet we pride ourselves wearing their regalia and embracing their religion stolen from the heritage of a people they enslaved, end quote. Seems pretty clear that the good doctor is attributing that sign to the clergy in the photo. He's insinuating that this photo alone should be reason enough to contemplate not wearing vestments similar to those which were worn by the men in the photo. What he doesn't seem to realize, or at least acknowledge or make explicit, is that the man at the center of that photo, the bishop wearing the bireta, is himself African American. Here's a clearer photo from that day. These clergymen were not supporting that sign. Rather, a lay woman who was not part of the church was holding that sign to protest the consecration of that bishop, who happened to be Harold Robert Perry, who went on to serve as bishop in New Orleans for a quarter century. And here's a quick newsreel from that day. Few if any complaints about his appointment, but today Mrs. B.J. Gaylock picketed the ceremonial procession. She was excommunicated several years ago for her public stand against integration of Catholic schools. In addition to that, here's a newspaper from that same time. This is the Nashua Telegraph, uh, an issue that came out on January 8th, 1966. And we're on page 12 of that issue, which had a bunch of news snippets from the Associated Press. And one of those snippets, titled New Bishop, covered what was going on in that photo, as well as in that newsreel. It reads as follows, quote, In solemn ceremony, Harold Robert Perry, 49, son of a Louisiana rice mill worker, was consecrated a Roman Catholic bishop. The consecration was not an ordinary one. Bishop Perry is a Negro, and the investiture took place in New Orleans. Outside the church, Mrs. B.J. Gayo marched carrying a sign proclaiming Jesus did not choose non-white apostles. Mrs. Gayo had been excommunicated in 1962 for opposing school integration in Louisiana, end quote. In short, whether wittingly or unwittingly, the good doctor badly misrepresented what was occurring in that photo, in the photo that he posted. So you see, that sign was not the fault of the clergy in the photo, much less their vestments. I mean, come on. Uh, rather, that sign was from a non-Catholic, a woman who had literally been kicked out the church years earlier and who was protesting against those clergy. And, and this honestly is reminiscent of when the good doctor posted that fake article attributed to Israel Daily News. You know, he and his followers will say that he posted it by accident. It was just an innocent mistake. Okay, fine. But the article aside, even if we put the article aside, there was also the issue of his caption in which he made bold claims about not only the article being removed, but so too the paper's archives and even the entire newspaper company itself. His caption proposed that an entire company was scrubbed to hide the information in that fake article. But of course, that was nonsense. And it raises the question, what is the good doctor thinking when he writes these different captions? Honestly, and with all due respect to our beloved friend, the good doctor needs to do a better job of fact-checking his own claims. And with that, I'll close here. Feel free to share your thoughts, and God bless. You just call yourself a doctor? Have you been working on a PhD the past three to five years and we didn't know about it? You never told anyone till now? Now all of a sudden in the midst of this crisis, you have a doctorate? It couldn't have been in Semitic languages because you obviously don't know what you're talking about when it comes to Semitic languages. And it wasn't in uh, newspaper research and journalism. Y'all know what I'm saying with that.